Um, George, how gutted from a player's perspective was the dressing room tonight with that result? Uh, yeah, I think probably more than um, than any of the games that I've been involved in so far. That was a pretty low dressing room just because I think we stuck to the game plan and executed it pretty uh, pr- pretty well, really well up until kind of a moment of uh, madness by us and. Uh, you know, we we concede together. We didn't we didn't score together, and that's that's too often been the been the story of our season so far. But I think we have to um, pride ourselves on how we worked and how we were as a team tonight. And I know that's you know not what people want to hear um, after maybe another defeat. But um, I generally feel like if we stick together like that today, um, pull each other about work for each other like that tonight we will get more uh, good results and bad results and um, absolute kick in the teeth don't get us wrong it's uh, it's not I'm not going to dress it up but yeah we have to we have to look at that as a as a as a minimum of what what our work rate and and desire and uh, team shape's got to be like for the rest of the season you've given West Brom a good game tonight as you say and does it hurt even more that the last three games in particular have finished 1-0 and they've been close run-ins yeah I th- uh, listen I, I, tonight uh, was, it was different in terms of it wasn't we conceded early in the game and maybe gave ourselves a, a, you know probably what West Ham try, uh, West Brom sorry tried to do to us tonight in terms of break us down we stayed in the game tonight and, uh, and everyone felt the longer it was going on the more that we sort of uh, were fancying ourselves to go down the other end and nick something so that's Something that was maybe different to the last couple. Um, I think, yeah, I think performance-wise, coming to a team like this and performing how we did tonight is 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 credit. But listen, that's uh, we don't want to keep saying this after after games. We, we we use this, we build on it. A little bit of momentum come Saturday and use uh, use Saturday as a time to get a positive result. Yeah, because you must feel after a performance like that for the big spells in the game that it can change from an L to a W against Arne Absolutely I think there has been some games this year where maybe our performance hasn't been great and possibly the the scoreline hasn't been as maybe it's maybe been a bit tighter than it should have been but tonight I generally feel like we, we it was a proper team performance tonight and listen footy's a team game we need everyone pulling on this on, on the same way and I felt like we were tonight and that is going to stand us in good stead I know it's Listen, it shouldn't take us 15 games or whatever we, we're into now to get to this point, but we're here now, it's happened. Build on tonight and let's go get a result uh, away at Barnsley on Saturday. In a side, of course, that features yourself and the fans are obviously delighted that you're back in the team. How are you finding life this season? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously not how I've wanted it to be. Um, it was tough getting getting injured so early in pre-season and sort of watching everything and you know, I think we spent all last year with an empty stadium and having a great year and um, maybe I've come back in and it's, it's not the best sort of uh, atmosphere at the minute. But listen, only we can change that. And I, it was great being back involved last week and playing three games in a week. I was extremely tired at the end of it. But listen, it's what it's what I love to do. It's, it's great being back in front of the fans again tonight. Bless them coming down or, and watching it. When I know it's tough to support us at the minute. I know it's not easy coming to the team, and they're probably thinking, "Oh, they're going to get beat again." But I'm telling you, if we stick by us, if we keep having a team performance like tonight, it's going to change. And uh, yeah, it's I'm, I'm loving being back. It's what yeah, what I love doing. It's, it's uh, the best job in the world, and. Um, it's going to be even better when we start getting some some wins under our belt. And that's the attitude that the fans are obviously looking for. The words you just say that. Yeah, uh, uh, listen, we we haven't changed to a bad team overnight. We've we've had maybe a bit of misfortune uh, at, at the early start of the season. Um, maybe maybe it's just kind of come away from little things that that we were doing really well last year. And that that reminded me of last year in terms of I know that might the fans might think oh we, we sat off them blah blah, blah. yeah we got to, we were at West Brom we were in the Premier League last year we've got to play our opponent but that team performance sticking to the game plan that will stand us in good stead for this year and that's the team that I know and and, and loved last year. Grant the dressing room must be feeling pretty sick after what looked to be a good performance and to come away with nothing. Yeah, I feel for them. I feel for them. I actually just said to him I said look if you play the gut for the remaining games we're in thirty games. We'll be in no danger whatsoever. Um, determination excellent. 
attitude excellent, shape of the team, outstanding. We've come to a team who are expected to win the division today. Um, and we've gifted them. We've gifted the game to them. As a collective, we've gifted the game to them. It's clear to see, you know, we've we've given the goal. Um, because other than that, we had I know it may not look it, but we had the better chances. Ryan Longman had a very good chance. King, very good chance. They, they should, these these have got to be goals at this level. Um, you know, for example, they they get one a mistake from us and they punish us. And then it's been it's been frustrating for us. But you know, I'm pleased with the boys today. I really am. I said to them in there. I said, you know, you, you you can be proud of your performance. It's a defeat, of course it is. But we've got to keep our heads held high. Um, we've got to keep believing in, in what we're doing. And um, you know, the wins will come. You talk about those chances at the end of the game. What do you think's needed more for them to actually find the back of the net? Just take the opportunity. <laughs> That's as simple as that. It's, it's, there's no point to beating around the bush. Just take the opportunities. They're, they're big opportunities in, in this league. And uh, maybe last season that mistake we make there. It's a collective mistake. It's it's three probably four slash mistakes and in, in one that's cost us a goal. Um, that doesn't get punished at League One level. Um, that's not being me dis being disrespectful to League One. It's 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 it. You know sometimes you'll get away with that. In this division you don't. Um, and that was the case tonight. You know they've been booed off the pitch at half time. Um, I think that shows everything that what we were about today. Um, but I, I know for a fact if we continue to perform, perform in terms of what we showed today, in terms of a collective, and cut out the silly mistakes and take our chances, I know it sounds a lot, a lot to ask, we'll be all right. Yeah, because I know that obviously people are going to be concerned about a lot of defeats, but they're not all hammerings. I mean, the last three games have been 1-0 and we've been in the game for most parts. Listen, I've said it before and I'll say it here again. We've got an honest group of boys. Um, we've got a group with a real determination. Um, you know, we don't. Uh, we're, we're looking at every game at the minute. We're thinking that it's fine margins. Um, it's the level of this league. We're, we're still adapting to it. You know, I've, someone just told me Blackburn's got beat seven 0 tonight. I'm not 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 that I'm referring to anybody else, but that we haven't shown that. You know, we, we've shown a real a real resilience about us, a real determination to to, to stay and, and keep going to the end. And we showed that again tonight. You know, we should we should score. I think five of our goals that we've scored this season have come within the 75th, 90th minute. I just read that stat in the program, and we should have another two or three there. You know, it's 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 as clear as it's clear as day, but we didn't do it. At the other end of the pitch, yes, they've been very exceptional tonight for most parts of the game, but another injury, Alfie Jones and Deshaun not involved at all tonight. Yeah, I need, I need to get the, we need to get the bottom of this one with Alfie because he's trained now for a week to ten days. No, no. No dramas whatsoever. Um, trained with with ease, um, but again, it's, it's I think this is the third time this season that he's pulled up with the same hamstring. So it's 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 annoying. It, it really is. You know, having to make a change 17 minutes into the game, um, we need to find out what what the reason. Why is it? Why is this happening? Um, and I'll be I'll be doing that in a minute with you know with my medical team and and we'll be finding out you know what, is there anything different that we can do with Alfie um, in terms of his road to recovery because we can't foresee why this has happened you know it's he's good the last seven to ten days and then 17 minutes into the game one sprint and he's he's feeling it so it's I think it's 17 minutes that right yeah you know it's it, it is really really annoying I'm really disappointed for Alfie because um, he's such a big player for us and what was the situation with Deshaun as well. Uh, nothing, just team selection. Um, Deshaun's a young player. Um, you know, he, he, it's it's been tough for him. You know, coming into this team in terms of how it's going, and we felt we just take him out of the spotlight tonight um, to bring him back. Um, same as George, we didn't think that the game was going to suit George tonight. You know, you seen you seen the game yourself. It was a physical game. George is more of a technical football player, and um, you know it, that that was the reason for those two missing.